Photographer Leo Crabtree is suing aspiring model Gail Johnson in the amount of $8,500 because he says she made money off of pictures she posted on the internet that are his property. This case is about a picture imperfect, Leo Crabtree versus Gail Johnson. Welcome to this court. It said that a photo is worth a thousand words. In this case, apparently, it's also worth a lawsuit. Why are you yes. here today, Mr. Crabtree? Well, Judge, we're here today because Ms. Johnson over here, the defendant, is making money off my work. I'm a professional photographer, uh, for seven, been a professional photographer for seven years. Uh, we met online, uh, have a website, and that's how we got, came in contact. We agreed for uh, a session. We did two shoots, uh, and she paid me for that. She did, and how much did she pay you for that? $250. All right. And then did you provide the photos to her? Yes, on a CD. All right, and uh, do you have any evidence that you'd like to present to the court yes, I do. of the work that you've done for Ms. Johnson? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Brian. You're standing up, uh, posing next to a tree. Side shot, front shot, back shot. What's the sign keep out right next to your derriere? He picked the location, so I guess it was supposed to be kind of a walk on the wild side or something. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty wild. Okay, uh, it's like a double entendre if you get my gist. And then, uh, especially because it's next to your butt. Yes. Uh, having said that, the next photo is you also a side shot, kind of sexy, kind of elegant. Yes. All right, these are the photos you took, sir. I'll receive yes. those into evidence, and what's the problem? Well, uh, Your Honor, uh, after we did the photo shoot, I gave her the CD. I was unaware that she had a paid site, so you had to be a member to subscribe to her site. I was unaware of that at the time. She just told me she wanted to do headshots for, I mean, she wanted to take uh, pictures for her headshots and for personal use. And you've done that, haven't you, for models in the past? Correct, yes. Taking their headshots. Yes. All right, so what's the problem? You, you, well, you took them, you got paid for them, and now? Correct. But she did not tell me that she was using this for an online website, so you have to be a member to her, her site to, uh, to view her photos. Mm -hmm. And so she's making thousands of dollars off this site, in which I was unaware of. So I feel like I ought to be uh, confiscated a portion, a percentage of her earnings. And you do. And how much do you think you should be compensated for? Uh, you know, 8500 Now, did you ever ask well, her how she intended to use these photographs that you were taking of her? Yeah, she just told me for her headshots and personal use. So I just gave her a, a CD, not thinking of that she was going to create this site. He All right, let me hear from uh, Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson, you've heard the testimony of Mr. Crabtree. Yes. Uh, did you, in fact, hire him to take these photos of you? I did hire him. Your Honor, he's a big money grab. I'm a money grab because I like to take photos and make money. I'm a businessman. I don't right. work for free. Okay. You know, Mr. Crabtree, I'm really not asking you to add in, frankly, your two cents at this point. Okay. That's I will be happy to hear from you again in reference to any response that you would like to make to the defendant, but let's give her the opportunity and the courtesy okay. Yes. Okay. of being able to provide okay. her point of view, and then you'll have a chance to reply. Thank you very much. Your Honor, I needed some pictures for my portfolio, so I saw his ad online. I called him up. We set up a scheduled photo shoot. Everything went okay. There was an agreement of $250 that we made over the phone, which included I would have the copyright of the photos. So they belong to me. We had the shoot. Everything went okay. He handed me the CD, and that was that. We did hang out um, about a couple times afterwards. It what got do you a mean little... you hung out? Did you go out on a date? You can call it date. I call it just drinks and dancing. We went to Starbucks. All right. Well, some people well, call that a date. Okay. But having said that, go ahead. So I guess we had a little crush on one another. That's how it all escalated because after a while, I just lost interest in him. I couldn't stand him anymore. He just became irate and negative and just screaming out loud. All right. But you just didn't like the way he was. No. He and so what did you do next? He became a total meanie, and I had to call off everything. No more dating, no more hanging out at Starbucks, no more going out dancing. That was the end of that. So I did upload my photos to my website, and it generated a lot of traffic. I did mean, you like on. those photos that he took of you? 
Some of them, not all of them. He could well, have done a better. Well, as to the people who viewed your website, did you seem to have an increase in traffic on your website, people viewing your website yes. after you posted these photos that Mr. Crabtree had taken of you? Yes, but it wasn't for him. A 12-year-old could have took those pictures, and he still could have been good. Well, a 12-year-old didn't take those photos. Having said that, you posted those photos on your yes. website. Yes. How much more traffic did you get to your website? How many more hits did you get? Your Honor, I had over a million hits you in did. one month. Yes. After you posted the photos. After I posted. And how them. many did you have prior to posting the photos? Maybe about twenty thousand a month. Okay. All right. So now, did Mr. Crabtree, when he took the photos of you, tell you that if you were to buy these po photos from him and pay the $250 that you would not be able to use them any way you wanted or did he limit it in any way? What in fact was the deal? No, he didn't say anything. He even offered to give me more photo shoots because he wanted to spend more time with me. That's a lie. She's a gold digger and you know, because I'm, oh I'm a- Oh my gosh. A yeah, gold I'm, digger? Yeah, she's Why? a gold digger. Why is she a gold digger? Because every time like we went to Starbucks, sometimes she'd check out the guys, you know, or we're doing a photo shoot and she talked, you know, just- She's checking out guys. Why, oh, is she checking out their wallets? I mean, because I'm, uh, what I'm are you, Mr. Moneybags? Coming up on- Is there anything new here that I haven't heard before, before I rule? Mr. Crabtree, let's uh, get back to it. Did she enter into any kind of contract with you wherein she promised never to take these photographs and put them up on a website or any place else, that it was only going to be for her personal use. Yeah, she just told me it was for personal use and she needed headshots. As a her personal you know, use and she needed headshots. Well, let me just ask you, sir. When a model says she needs headshots, what is she going to do? Just put them in her drawer at night, take them out in her personal use, and like, oh, hey, that's my picture. Well, Not distribute maybe, them well, maybe put to on. those who might want to consider hiring her? Yeah, not to a subscribe website, Your Honor. Oh, not I didn't to know a it website. Was for a, so you have to be a member to join her website. Well, what's what the she difference if you have to be a member? Well, is because the problem she, that you didn't want to shell out money to be a member so that you could see her? No, what I'm saying is if it wasn't for my photos that I took of her, she wouldn't be making thousands of dollars. I feel like I need a percentage or something from that. Your Honor. Okay, you feel you need that. All right, yes. what's your response He's to that? He's just jealous Mr. because I broke his little heart. That's why he wants to get revenge on me and harass me and say that the photos belong to him. He should get a profit. He's just jealous. I went out with someone else that was better looking and was more stable. I didn't want to put up with his, his craziness anymore. So, so that's you're saying because why. he couldn't do anything about the fact that you weren't interested in him anymore. Yes. and that's when it in that non-business way. Non-business And way. you found another, another nice, nice young man yes. or older man. Older. Okay. <laughs> to uh, have a relationship with. Yes. That his way of getting back at you is to file this lawsuit against you yeah. and try to get kind of a piece of the action, but the action is the money that maybe you're getting from advertising because so many people are going to your website. Is that your theory? Ms. Johnson. Yes, it is. It's it the is. theory of the day. It's your theory. Now, the question is, is that evidence and is it relevant to this case? I'm ready to rule. In this case, uh, Mr. Crabtree, I accept that you are a professional photographer. You took photographs. They appear to be very, very uh, expertly taken photographs. Very nice. I'll compliment you on Thank your you. work. Thank you. And uh, I really didn't hear much in the way of a complaint about the photographs. Not a serious complaint from Ms. Johnson about the photographs. She paid you for those photographs, and you concede that you did receive $250 from Ms. Johnson. Also, I'm At that sorry. Uh, case, all evidence has been submitted. There's nothing okay. new that I'm going to hear. I'm in the yes. middle of my ruling, and I don't receive evidence when I'm in the okay. middle of the ruling. Uh, so she uh, did pay for those photographs. Now you want a piece of the action the kind of action that you would like, the court cannot provide. But you are seeking money, that kind of action, in this court. Because you say that she's essentially making a profit off of your work. Well, that may be true. More traffic was attracted to her website on account of the fact that she posted these photographs which you took on her site. And the court will accept that. However, your problem is the following. You did not, in your contract, in any way limit 
what she could do with your photographs. You did not retain the right to ownership of your photographs in your contract with her. You did not limit the distribution that she could uh, involve herself in with these photographs. You didn't say, oh, you can't put it up on your website, you can't do this, you can't do that. All you did was take the photographs and take her $250. And so for that reason, you have no further right in these photographs. She can use them any way she wishes. Judgment for defendant. All right. Judge Allred has ruled in favor of the defendant. Well,